How's it going everybody and welcome to the channel. Today we're checking out the HGLRC's Sector 132. It is a 4K capable 3 to 4S 132 millimeter 3 inch FPV racer slash Cinedrone. Now it is available as a bind and fly version or the plug and play version. And it is also available with either the black prop guards or these blue prop guards. Now it also comes with the Cadex Tarsier FPV camera, which has an analog camera on the bottom for the FPV feed and an HD video camera on the top to record high definition videos. Now it also comes with a DVR to record the HD quality videos. Now the FPV video feed has a field of view of 165 degrees and the HD camera has a field of view of a 150 degrees. It is capable of recording in 4K, 2K, 1440p and 1080p. Now it will auto record with the last resolution setting used once powered up. So let's go ahead and power it up. An LED will light up indicating the recording status. So when it is blinking, it is recording. So you don't have to press any button, just power up the quadcopter and it is set to auto record. Now there's a couple of buttons here. There's a record button on the left and there's a resolution button on the right. So if you want to stop recording, hit the record button just once and the recording is saved to the micro SD card, which is on the opposite side. Now you want to change the resolution, go ahead and hit the resolution button. Right now it is set to 4K. So that is 2K and 1440p and 1080p and so on and so forth. Now, long pressing of the record button, you are able to turn on the Wi-Fi to use the Wi-Fi phone app. So let's go ahead and long press the record button and that'll be indicated by a green LED light that will be flashing. Okay, there you go. Green LED light is flashing. So the Wi-Fi is turned on. So you can go to your phone, turn on your Wi-Fi settings and connect with the Cadex Wi-Fi network and use the phone app to change parameters. Now, the phone app is called the Cadex FPV app and it allows for additional configurations as well as a viewfinder once you are connected. So to get out of the Wi-Fi connection, just short press the record button once and the Wi-Fi has been turned off. Now the flight controller is the HGLRC's F4 Zeus all-in-one flight controller. Now it has a built-in 15 and 4-in-1 BLHALI SD shot ESCs and the mounting holes are 20 by 20 millimeters and it is utilizing the M2 screws. Now on the rear, we also have another stack mounted utilizing 16 by 16 millimeter and with the M2 screws and that will be the VTX and it is the HGLRC's FD VTX Micro. You can see it from the other side a little bit better. So there it is right here. There you go. Now it is a 25, 100, 200, 400 milliwatt switchable VTX, either with the single physical button, as you can see right there, or with the smart audio in your OSD menu. The input voltage is five volts 
it has an IPX connector for your antenna and that is being kind of squeezed down with the receiver kind of sandwiched in there so it doesn't come off and it will come with the HGLRC's right hand circular polarized 5 dBi hammer antenna. Now there is a 3D printed antenna mount in the rear standoffs and we also have a 35 volt 220 microfarad capacitor and this is the bind and fly version and this one here came with the fr sky xm plus receiver already installed so you can bind and fly this cinewhoop right out of the box and start recording the flight video in 4k resolution now the motors are the hglrc branded 1106 3800 kv 3-4s to capable motors and the props that came with the quadcopter were these 2540 gem fan tri-bladed props and with these prop guards already installed now i have flown it with these prop guards on and with these two and a half inch props as it came out of the box and it does fly very well but it does not however handle the wind very well so it needs to be flown in calm conditions or indoors for the video to come out stable but the advantage is that it can be safely flown indoors because of these prop guards and put in situations where open props may be a bit too dangerous. Now the other set of props that it came with the purchase are these 3035 gem fan tri-bladed props but the prop guards need to be removed to be able to use these three inch props or any other three inch props now these are good for cinematic flying but not very good for freestyle flying and because the motors only accept props with three holes we are limited to the choices of props that we can use but gemfan has these wind dancer 3028 tribladed props with five millimeter holes but these come with an insert that can accommodate motors with the 1.5 millimeter three holes and it works out very well for this setup now i've also tried these dys 3045 tribladed props and these work pretty good as well and have a lot of lift due to the higher pitch
Now they do provide you with two of these nice battery straps and the battery can be mounted on the top where it is suggested as it already has the non-slip battery pad installed or on the bottom as well where I put some foam pads on myself. Now I've been flying it with the battery mounted on the bottom and I've been using these 850 milliamp 3S batteries as well as these 850 milliamp 4S batteries. Now I also been using these yeah big huge 1300 milliamp 4S batteries for taking in cinematic shots and the 4K escape video that I've made recently and uploaded was flown entirely with these 1300 milliamp 4S batteries. So you can fly it like a cine hoop with the prop guards on and utilize these 2.5 inch tri-bladed props or take off the guards and fly it with the 3 inch props and fly it like an FPV racer. And that is how I will be testing out the Sector 132 here today. All right, so here we go with the Sector 132. I got those Genfan 3028 tri-bladed props and I got an 850 milliamp three cell battery and this one has the XT60 connector so I have a converter cable because the quadcopter comes with the XT30 so let's go ahead and power it up and I'm going to be using my jumper T12 transmitter all right ready to go plug it in And the ESCs have sung their song. And I got a micro SD card inserted. And I have the resolution set to 1080p, 60 frames per second. And that is what the recording resolution is going to be set on this test flight. So let's go and check it out. And I got a micro SD card inserted. And I have the resolution set to 1080p, 60 frames per second. And that is what the recording resolution is going to be set on this test flight so let's go ahead and check it out line of sight first i got the battery mounted on the top this time instead of on the bottom so i wanted to check that out as well how they recommend you to put the battery and so far doesn't seem like it makes any difference but i'm so used to putting the battery on the bottom of the clock after that it just feels better I guess yeah very nice a little noisy this quad even with the two and a half inch props and the prop guards yeah it's a little noisy high pitch noise but check it out there's a little bit of a wobble as you saw there around the turns and I think that's got to do with the uh, battery being mounted on the top perhaps. It kind of does that a little bit more with the uh, 3S battery. Alright, so let's go ahead and do a little punch and check it out here. There you go. That is the full throttle punch on 3S. One more time. 
you know, that's pretty good. You can do some freestyling with the 3S battery. You just can't do it too close to the ground because sometimes you hit the ground trying to stop your descent from a loop or something like that, a power loop. But other than that, it's perfectly fine if you're going to fly it cinema style and you want to capture some videos, you can fly it nice and smooth with a 3S. Like that. Beautiful day here. Okay, let me go ahead and bring it in. The 3S battery gives you about, I would say about good three minutes, perhaps a little bit more. All right, so let's do some flips here. So it isn't that bad, you know? You can catch yourself from a fall like that. But I did hit the ground once or twice from doing a power loop too close to the ground. So be careful with that. So there you go guys. The Sector 132 with open props. 3028 gem fan and with a 3S battery line of sight. So let's go ahead and check it out with some FPV. There we go. All right, here we go with our first FPV flight with the Sector 132 with the open three inch props with a 3S battery. Well, the camera looks really nice, guys. The color representation is really nice. And she's flying pretty smoothly with these props. You can still probably get some nice cinematic shots with the open prop. Especially with these 3028. They're nice and smooth. And the props that come with it, the 3035s, those are pretty good too but they lack when you start doing some acro and start doing some freestyling. So the video is being recorded in 1080p, 60 frames per second resolution. If you wanna check out the 4K resolution quality of this Cadex Tarsier and this quadcopter, check out my other video the FPV escape video in 4K. All right, so far so good, huh? So I still have the battery mounted on the top like they recommend, but it's feeling pretty good. I can't really tell a lot of difference between bottom mounted and top mounted. Maybe when I start doing some rolls, yeah, the rolls are a little bit faster, feels like anyways. Yeah, so you can do some acro moves with this quad cutter. Just take off the prop guards, put on some three inch props and you got yourself an FPV racer guys and you can record your moves in 4k look at that nice and smooth with these props and when you fly this thing indoors it makes a big difference it is really really smooth because there's no wind today there's no wind to be had as well so it should come out pretty nice and smooth the tarsia when you're making these yaw turns sometimes it does get a little bit blurry so on a straightaway it is nice and clear but once you start yawing it does get a little bit 
blurry because of the movement, I suppose, side movement. So you can freestyle with the Sector 132 with some three inch props and without the prop guards. So it's a really versatile claw cutter guys. Well worth it because this is one of the cheapest ones out there. These 4K Cine hoops are so expensive. Some of the bigger ones are getting close to the $300 range and that's a little bit disturbing in my opinion. A little bit too high. Look at this. Turns real nice with the 3S. And you can do some power loops. And that is that turn that I'm talking about. It kind of happens sometimes even with the battery mounted on the bottom. You saw that? Yeah, it kind of moves a little bit. So. That is the behavior of this quadcopter. It is made for taking smooth videos and it is not made for doing acro maneuvers, but you are still able to. And it occurs more using 3S battery and it occurs less using 4S batteries. And check it out. We're getting pretty decent amount of flight time. We've been flying for about five minutes already and we still got battery power left so good flight time with the 850 milliamp 3s battery All right so let's take in some sights before the battery runs out Low to the ground. I think it's well worth the purchase. The price isn't that bad. And you can capture some nice 4K videos. And I've been using some huge batteries as well, 4S, 1300 milliamp 4S batteries. Very heavy for this quad cutter, but nice and smooth. All right guys, so let's go ahead and bring it in. Battery is on the low here. So let's slap on a 4S battery and check it out with a 4S. There we go. All right, here we go with a 4S battery. So let's go ahead and check it out. 850 milliamp. Notice a nice little power right away. But I do notice a little bit of disturbance on the FPV video feed. There's some horizontal lines there. So still very smooth. You can still take some nice cinematic shots of your surroundings, but because of the removal of the prop guards, the ducted fan, you are prone to prop, prop strikes if you get too close to objects here. So be careful when you're flying it without the ducted fan. Now with the ducted fan, you know, you can kind of relax and 
fly it even indoors. And I was chasing my kids on their bicycles. And you don't feel bad chasing them close so you know when you hit them you're not going to injure them but with these open props you just gotta watch out just like any other quadcopter you can get scratched up or even cut up so let's go and check out the 4S power here it's really nice I flew in, flown it in my backyard and it flies really nicely now this time around I have the battery mounted on the bottom of the quadcopter so I think it flies a little bit better the top mount makes it a little bit unstable but when you're doing cinematic shots it really doesn't matter but if you're doing FPV and you wanna do some freestyling then I think I suggest you put it on the bottom so the weight distribution is better and it doesn't wobble as much like up around the turns when you make quick turns it doesn't have that jerky motion like you do especially with the 3S battery I don't really have that problem with the 4S but with the 3S you do so it's like any other FPV racer guys 3 inch quad you can do all kinds of maneuvers and yet you have this Cadex Tarsier which you can record videos in 1080p which I'm doing right now or 1440 you see that little wobble there yeah that's what I'm talking about uh, and also 2k and 4K. So taking cinematic shots. And the video quality is not bad at all. Very usable. Now I do have some double sided sticky tape to stabilize the FPV camera on the bottom of the FPV camera so the camera doesn't vibrate as much onto the bottom plate and that seems to help out a lot with uh, jello problems and we've been flying for four minutes and we still got a lot of flight left in us and you see that little wobbling Very nice quadcopter overall. You can fly it with a ducted fan, two and a half inch props, or you can remove it and choose your props to fly freestyle, three inch props. Although you don't have a lot of choices on the props because of the 1.5 millimeter hole and the Two, two millimeter holes on the prop but these Gemfan 3028s are really nice they do a great job and you can use it with the five millimeter holes and you can use it with these uh, three holes with that little insert that comes along with it so look at that guys, over five minutes of flight time. A little bit of a wobble there. But overall it's not that bad. Yep, not bad at all and you can do freestyle with it and you can also take cinematic shots with it
very nice quadcopter guys and the price is very decent considering you get this Cadex Tarsia 4K FPV camera 2-in-1 deal so very very nice All right, so I think that'll conclude this video of the HGLRC's Sector 132. Thank you so much for tuning in and watching. Have a great day and we'll see you again next time. Look at that, seven minutes of flight time. Not bad, huh?